Free kick, Scotland. One, Taken quickly by Simon Taylor. Tried to essay his way through to the line himself. Seven metres out, it's Parks. Men over on the far side. It is Rory Lamont. And Scotland have their opening try of the 2007 World Cup. Yeah, sheer delight there from Rory Lamont. Just hit the line at pace, and it was his strength that got him over the line. Brother Sean was in to congratulate him as well. But it was good sharp hands from Scotland. And from the free kick, it was Simon Taylor who was quick enough to spot the gap to get in behind the Portuguese defence. And with the ball being moved wide, first of all through Parks and Jason White, it was White's pass that allowed Lomont to go over and score. Only his second try for his country, winning his 11th cap today. Rory Lamont, the new signing for the Sale Sharks. And kicking duties today in the hands of Dan Parks. He certainly has the sharpest set of sideburns at this World Cup. Seven nil, Scotland off and running. Well, that will just settle the Scotland nerves. Good hands by Parks on to Jason White, and it was at that angle that Rory Lamont took, straightened, and had the power and presence to get over the line. Three lost the aerial battle there, Ali Hogg. Referee's arm out for a Scottish advantage. Parks, Jason White, Rory Lamont. And Rory Lamont is all the way through here again, brushing off Jose Pinto. And Rory Lamont scores his second try in the space of three minutes for Scotland. Well, a big grin there from the younger brother. His older brother, Sean, goes up to congratulate him once again. Great, strong running from Rory Lamont. And Scotland just hitting at their pace. It was Frank Haddon who switched the Glasgow player to this full-back position. It was his suggestion. And he hit that angle well and had the pace and the strength to just struggle Pedro Leal at full-back there. In fact, it was the covering scrum half, Jose Pinto. Good handoff there. And so for the second time in the space of three minutes, Dan Parks, born in Hornsby, just north of Sydney, weighs up a kick. And his maternal grandfather hailed from Ayrshire. Hence his qualification. Now in his fifth season playing for Glasgow. And nicely on the mark again. Now, when you add the extra two points, it makes all the difference as you're stretching a scoreline. Just good diagonal running here. The strength, the pace from Rory Lamont. I've got all sorts of options with Nathan Hines at the back as well. Well, it's beyond Scott Murray. It's Jason White that takes. It's Blair to Ali Hogg, to Rob Dewey, and Dewey looks for support. Blair this time, to Rory Lamont, who has a first-half hat-trick, but he doesn't because the referee has spotted some crossing, I think, and has disallowed it. It'll be a Portuguese penalty. Well, the Scots supporters were up, cheering the triple. See the crossing on that particular replay. Again, Dan Parks, this time with the miss pass towards Rory Lamont, who's seeing so much of the ball. <laughs> Having a field day from fullback. Parks this time with the boot. And it's the hooker, Scott Lawson, who gathers and scores. 
Referee Steve Walsh looks across towards his touch judge, inquires as to the validity and gives the try. Parks with the cross kick, Scott Lawson with the catch and score. Well, one for the forwards there. Scott Lawson loitering with intent on the wing, but it was a superb diagonal kick from Dan Parks, a favoured option for him both for his club team Glasgow and for Scotland. But pinpoint accuracy, but again, the whole thing set up by Rory Lamont, who's having an absolute stormer. He's like an electric eel here tonight. Possession is back. And look at this for a switch kick and diagonal crossfield. Lawson has the presence of mind to gather and dot down in the corner. Scott Lawson's second international try. Another of those amongst the exodus of players heading south. He will be playing for Sale when he begins his domestic season. And Dan Parks, whose cross kick created the try, now to convert it. On a balmy evening in St Etienne. Straight through the middle. Well, Dan Parks has settled into this game superbly well. His pinpoint accuracy from his kicking has been wonderful. And this one in particular, right on the button for Scott Lawson. Look at that great take from the hooker. Dives in at the corner. Well, there will be delight and relief as well, but the reply is immediate. Rob Dewey for Scotland! With their fourth try. Portuguese delight, relatively short-lived. Uh, very much so, straight from the kick-off. The tap-back here, Rob Dewey takes the ball. Now, this guy's got strength. Six foot three, 17 stone, rushes aside the Portuguese. And David Matias, well, he's just left standing in his way. A good presence of mind there from Rob Dewey. So the immediate riposte there from Scotland. Four tries for the Scots, and of course, the base minimum requirement was to win this and to score four tries for the bonus point. But they will hope that their victory becomes much, much more handsome before the evening is out. Dan Parks with a successful conversion and Scotland lead by 28 points to seven. Here's Rob Dewey then showing his strength. Good effort in the tackle from Duarte Pinto, the fly half. 